the engine next door's post volume review, presently we began to see an increase in the number of rom-com-like novels making it into English. The latest to hit the market is Yen Press's The Angel Next Door is supposed to be rotten, which promises a slow burn romance. Does it prove heartwarming? Let's find out. The story follows first year high school student, Amani Fujimiya, only day, who one day finds the most popular girl at school, Mahiro Shina, sitting alone in the middle of a rainstorm, not wanting to idle to catch a cold. Amani gives her his umbrella before running back home, but he might have avoided Mahiro catching a cold. Unfortunately, Amani comes down with one himself. Andrew and Amani attend school the next day, but the time he returns home at that evening, the worst of his symptoms are catching up with him as he enters his apartment. Amani is on the point of collapse when he's suddenly caught by Mahiro, a bit knows to him. This beautiful girl lives in the apartment next door and saw him struggling on his way home, indebted to him for letting her his umbrella. Mahiro vows to nurse him back to health. From there on, Mahiro and Amani end up becoming friends, having seen the state of Amani's apartment and learning that all the survives in his convenience store from food, Mahiro just can't leave the body alone. She begins by bringing him over some of the food she cooks for dinner every day, but eventually that leads to her cooking for them put in his place every day. Since there is such a big difference in Mahiro and Amani's social groups in school, the two keep their friendship a secret, not least because Amani is the only boy Mahiro will give the time of day given how many approach her here just because of her good looks. Initially, she even worries Amani wants to date her, but quickly comes to the realization that he's completely uninterested. Of course, it's obvious to us readers that Amani is growing attached to Mahiro and developing romantic feeling for her, feelings for her. But due to Mahiro's feelings, feelings towards guys finding her attractive, it's going to be difficult for him to own up to them. Of course, Amani knows to him Mahiro is also beginning to fall in love. The engine next door is mostly rotten is a very slow read, especially if you're hoping for any romantic developments. We spent a lot of time getting no both of the characters, and by the end of the book, I was suddenly attached to them both. Andre the story is pretty systematic in that in almost every chapter, Mahiro cooks for Amani and they discuss the food. I quite like seeing a slice of life, their everyday life. They have a sweet even of a little repetitive. Even if you find yourself uninterested in the will lead one day element for other romance. I think the cast have quite a lot of going for them. For Amani, this story is all about bettering his lifestyle, eating a leaf, leaving healthy, healthily leaving while becoming friends with Mahiro. However, for one heroine, there are some painful memory spirit. Due to her beauty and rich upbringing, so far, we only have hints her here and they're regarding her past. But as she grows closer to Amani, she's beginning to open up and I'm looking forward to seeing that going forward. Another positive aspect of the book is that Mahiro isn't at all the delicate a type of girl the Arthur gives off. She's certainly be capable of looking after herself and has quite a festive personality underneath of her quiet facade. I appreciate this since it would have been so easy for author Saiki san to make her into some kind of damsel of distress, especially after the scene where Amani gives her his umbrella. This is Saiki san's first series to make it into English, but they have a few others to their name in Japanese. Like a lot of light novels, The Angel Next Door is supposedly run in his base on the web novel, which means his book has quite a few short chapters. I think this works in his favor since it means we don't linger in any particular storyline for too long. Illustrations have been handled by Hanekoto, and while they largely focus on depicting my hero, I don't think we see Amari and all beyond one color image. The illustrator does well to capture the many sides of her personality. One thing I will say is that Hanekoto's style seems more suited to color than the black and white images which look a little washed out in places. The engine next door is supposed to be rotten comes to the west thanks to Yen Press and is translated by Nicole Wilder. The translation which well in the wishes to note. The series is on going in Japan at 3 volumes, but Yen has yet to schedule the volume 2. Hopefully, it won't take too long. Overall, the angel next door is supposed to be rotten as a slow but fulfilling romantic comedy while successfully sidestepping some of the unusual tropes of the genre. It's easy for readers to get invested in the characters and their story. 7 out of 10.